Department of Agriculture claims that these are a potential threat to live. Oh, Jesus. Today we are coming at you from Malaysia. Today I have exclusive access to our friend's supply of animals. I'm obviously here on a business trip, going through and I'm acquiring stock for a shipment that will later come to the United States. Now I've often said this before, the animals that come from here in Malaysia are often very different. Now the same species can occur to the south in Indonesia and to the north in Thailand, but I don't know why, but for some reason, the examples of those same species here in Malaysia oftentimes are just very different. Whether it's a different color, sometimes it's a bigger size. I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy seeing something different. I know you guys too, that's why you're here tuned into the channel. I have a lot of animals to go through. I've already kind of went through it all. I found some really incredible examples of different species of snakes. I want you guys to sit back, pay attention, and check this stuff out. It is really off the charts. guys so I have to admit this right here in my hand is probably the coolest snake that I've seen on this trip this is Aplopeltura boa it's the only species within this genus kind of a unique animal it's a slug eating snake but man I'll tell you what that goofy face it just does it for me <laughs> so pretty those big eyes very, very cryptic. It's got the white spots. Looks like some sort of lichen or moss. What a cool animal that is.
right, for all my invert people, uh, I used to do inverts quite a lot. Uh, had a pretty good following and uh, just for a number of reasons I stepped away from the inverts. I am now taking a step back into the inverts because I'm here in Malaysia and I'm seeing a lot of really cool stuff. This in particular I wanted to show you guys. This is a jewel centipede here from Malaysia. Probably the holy grail of centipedes. Very very beautiful. I have access to a very few they're very expensive, but um, they are on my order more than likely. So I want to show you guys these. They're a bit difficult to video and photo because they are a bit toxic. And I want to get some shots of these without the lid. Ah, there you go. It's going to just sit there for a photo. Very, very beautiful. Blue legs, red legs. Really nice. So here's some phasmids. These occur right here in Malaysia. Very, very big, big bugs and uh, quite beautiful. Uh, these are not available for import. Cannot get these into the US. They're uh, invasive species, a threat to agriculture, so they say. But uh, I just wanted to get some of these in the video. They are super cool. Any kind of any kind of bugs that are big size usually are of interest to me. I really like the big stuff, and these definitely are it. This is a big girl right here. The male is the smaller one. He has some wings that he's actually able to sort of fly quite clumsily, but he can. He can get a little bit of distance, so he keeps utilizing those to get away from me. But uh, that's the difference between male and female. Okay, so in this box, I have something also very interesting. Well, you guys probably don't want to see it anyway. Don't worry about it. Oh, just kidding. I'll show you. Pill millipedes. These come from here, kind of uh, basically just a really big version of um, roly-poly, I guess, but uh, very, very beautiful color, obviously, and something else that uh, we cannot have in the U.S., but some other countries are able to, but we cannot. However, I just wanted to show these to you quite interesting not sure if I'd be able to get any to open up here's one here kind of opening up a little bit starting to move around a little bit get a shot of them head on they just look so bizarre okay you guys we've come to the end this is the last animal that I'm going to highlight this is the giant Asian river toad I am super excited about being able to finally see some really really big examples of this species and I am going to be doing my best to acquire a few of these. These really big ones are quite rare. And, uh, and there's a handful here. And I am going to secure them. But what a really incredible animal. So big. So incredible looking. I just love it. The smaller ones can get with some frequency. But big ones like this. Very, very hard to find. And they also find their way into the food market here in Malaysia. I wouldn't want to be eating a toad, but uh, somehow these guys know how to, how to prepare them. But uh, there are a handful that escape the food market and um, I got my hands on them. So anyway, that is the last animal that I'm going to highlight. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. And again, my goal is always to open your eyes to some new stuff. I saw some animals that I haven't seen for a long time. 
uh, kind of gives me a bit of renewed excitement uh, doing business here in Malaysia with my old friend. Uh, we've been friends, we've known each other for more than 10 years and uh, it feels really good to be back here, getting reacquainted with them and, uh, and sort of uh, refreshing old ties and, and that sort of thing. So anyway, thank you again for watching you guys. We will see you again. The adventure is not over. We have more stops to make and uh, that's about it. All right, dude, thanks a lot. Take care, see ya.